In this subject we will discuss some details of an alien race who participated to help our planet to be more stable from cosmic catastrophe and from depopulation planned by elites. Let's read the information according to my source. Do you like reading or watching videos about aliens, UFO, reincarnation or alien technology? Are you interested in mysteries like Bermuda Triangle, Argatha, and Black Hole? Some knowledges that our current science can't explain but you want to know more about it. Then I am inviting you to subscribe to my channel and you may also click the notification bell so you will get notified for my future video uploads from the knowledge from beyond. The level of frequency of races does not interfere in any way the relationship between them. Sometimes these differences are difficult to notice because it depends on the way to be and to express themselves in each race. Some breeds are more phlegmatic while others are more social, regardless of their frequency bands. After the frequency of level 1, the following frequencies will open the possibilities of brain development and facilitating the understanding of more subtle processes of the universal dynamics. A humanoid of level 1 will relate very well with the other level 10, without any sense of inferiority or superiority in the relationship. It's like a tree, the top branches, low or middle belong to the same tree, only a few came before, and others later, but all belong to the same context and function. In the crews of spaceships you can find various frequencies beings working together as a team, without one being more important or superior to the other for it. Everything depends on the profile of each in knowledge and personal dynamics to better define its role. Races who work here today, we have some main societies. Note, some are exact, and genuine image of some alien race, and some are only illustration. I will show what is only available and verified according to my source. This will prevent misconception of the subject. Pleiades, level 3 and 4, very similar to you physically. They could move perfectly in your cities without being noticed. Isolated group of hybrid origin who lived and survived for thousands of years in the remote mountains of Tibet. Many Pleiadines living in your communities as well as observers for at least a hundred of years, many of them considering, earthlings, by being born here now for over two generations. They cannot influence your societies only maintains constant contact with the teams that have stepped up surveillance on the planet after the detonation of the first nuclear bomb by your military. Breeds from Aldebaran with two types, one's humanoid greys, some type of medium height, with others like your constitution, but lower, level 2, up to 6. Serious breeds, some of short stature greys, darker tone, and other breeds reptilians, from levels 1 to level 3. As to your own planet there are, human, of all kinds, many can even be considered as a disease. There are greys of, level 1, that are still problems with regard to a harmonious and balanced socializing with other races. These are those who join the reptilians to barter favors and technology. The dark gray belong to some societies, zero level, that simply steal the technology for their groups. A certain breed of greys working with them who were stranded on bases of your government laboratories, and could not have left the planet for a ban on movement of ships reptilian on the planet since 2012. Breeds Camelopardalis type of humanoid greys, from level 6 and 7. There are breeds greys that convey an almost angelic peace to your standards. They are very advanced races, but always seem to children, by the kindness and gentleness that they convey. Breeds Arcturians of level 3 type humanoid dolphin. There are several muzzle size variations depending on the strain of the colony, but this is really a lot like one of them. Two races of aquatic humanoids that are like amphibians breathe beings. They appear humanoid with a crossing of marine mammals such as dolphins, and are a very old breed, more than 50,000 years in the planet. This is an assembly using an old ancestor of their race, they also emit sounds but communicate telepathically with no problems and they are good humored, too. After millions of years of development they are actually humanoid mammalian warm-blooded like us, much more advanced of course. Breeds from Andromeda, levels 3 to level 5, some greys kind of short stature and others humanoid, my kind, like you, but a little lower, as some breeds of which Rigel Centaurus, similar to mine, also from level 5. Just to give you information. He is our source. 
race Chithok, a small 30 cm tall humanoids from the solar system Chithok, near the center of your galaxy, level 6. Race Krulians, humanoid level 8, Pleiades evolution of races that have taken a more slender body shape and look very harmonically. Angels and Archangel are your elder brothers. They are those who help care for younger ones. If a level 8 Krulians descends on Earth, you would interpret as an Archangel because that is what his presence would convey to your soul. They are gentle and spiritually advanced beings, men are friendly and women are very beautiful, they are frequency at level 8 of the third dimension and is very comfortable and rewarding to be in their presence, as they convey peace, harmony and well-being. A descendant of a tons, group who stayed here by their own will on a trial basis. This is the race that works as, counselors, of your elites in exchange for means to survive. Very intelligent beings with an IQ of over 160 but little practical to build things manually. The only anatomical difference is that they have the elongated cranial box and without the palate. Isolated groups of humanoid type that you call Sasquatch. Race that was planted here by ancient reptilians to work as slaves and auxiliary hunts but what did not work satisfactorily, they were left to their own fate. Isolated groups of ancient beings connected to your mythology called satyr, that originate from ancient DNA experiments made by ancient reptilian races that frequented the planet for over 30,000 years ago. This is one of the only old experimental races that survived until today in small isolated groups in inhospitable regions of the planet. Isolated groups of beings originating of insectoid race that you call night crawlers, which relate well with Sasquatch. They came here to study life forms in your insect fauna, which is great, and ended up on the planet, even still having their ships to return to home planet, they decided to stay here and keep experiences and sending reports to the scientific community of their planet. The insectoid think differently from us, sometimes it's hard to philosophize with them on other issues than his duties and guidelines. These beings are descended from a race of insects named, Ziggs. Very intelligent and possess a great ability of telekinesis. They keep a few bases of studies here in your planet, usually built on deposits of fresh water. They are friendly and totally harmless to you. The reptilians are actually about 20 subspecies. Coincidentally, the race that I mentioned being in contact with some of your governments is one of those. They are not bad but take many wrong decisions by momentary interests. It is a race that has evolved to the point of being able to join the community Galactica and from there gained access to technologies that did not have before to space travel. They have caused problems since. Other breeds of brothers that you will meet in a short future like Pleiadines, Arcturians, Camelopardalus, Atonians, Aldebarans, Alcades, Sirius breeds, Chithoks, Rigel Centaurs breeds among many other races, some will be cute to your concept, others will be ugly, but you will learn over time that physical beauty is relative to what you feel inside the chest. The anatomy depends on the adaptability developed for life on other environments, therefore an Arcturian will always be strange to you, but if you know him with the lights off, what would your inside would capture is the friendship they have pleased to share with others. The larger concept of living between different races is the ability to live with differences, and understand that what brings happiness to you might be a different thing that gives the happiness of another being. There's still many races in our universe. What we discussed earlier are most common breed we've seen, heard or reads in television, internet and books. You already have an idea about common alien races who visited in our planet. Now, we will move to next step. Maybe you wonder about levels that mentioned earlier of some of breeds. In the next video we will discuss about what is the frequency and its levels, and what is the connection of frequency in our brain activation. See you in my next video.